okay in this video we will cover cart functionality with laravel we can use any library for shopping cart by i recommend use this library is very very good i using this from last year for this uh, let me install this with composer go to the cmd or terminal and run this command it will install everything and it's it's working very fine with version any version laravel 5.5 5.4 5.3 i don't know 5.2 okay uh, after installing we have to add this lines our configurator app.js okay in the last for provide providers we will put here okay and second alliance you will put simply the last here and is used as you can see a simple uh, size with parameters and price quantity and your product name and your product code anything you can use like this i will show you in demo uh, let me see it's completed okay it's running right now for that uh, we need card controller also okay now let him complete it we will create here card controller <clears throat> after this because we need it php artisan make controller art controller okay controller created successfully let me try this uh, as a demo purpose just close this open your route add a new uh, route as get test okay test here you will put function simply and inside this route you just add this okay and if you want to see this output you will make a new route with name of anything i will put it cart and function will output your card content so card content will return as a array here is card content okay that's nice uh, go to website here here you will put only test it will be blank because we are nothing to show here just add a card and you can see what we had add here if you can see quantity one if i add same product two time it will quantity simply plus let me show you test again and here is cart quantity two here is one more thing i want to show uh, route at total total uh, your car total we need this parameter when we start our programming about cart so here is cart total I simply put here total and here is 24 now you can see our cart 9990 and tax added two time because we have a two country now if you want to see subtotal you will make here subtotal let me show you uh, route at subtotal function here just return your card subtotal this will without 
x reload okay i have a error here okay uh, semicolon reload here is 19.98 because you have a uh, two products in cart price with 9.99 that's it that we will add our cart now uh, let me copy this close this browser open again put here cart will be filled okay but when session will close your cart will be empty so uh, let me check this one uh, wait a minute okay uh, recording is working i want to show you destroy message to remove that okay here is it will be put id some id okay uh, we will get that ids okay uh, is content for content let me show you some remove get remove and here your function yeah now let me reload and add here remove that does not contain this id because it's custom id you have to get id from your uh, actual card okay so don't worry you don't need this type of function here just remove it go to actual coding products here we have a here anchor tag if i click here it will go to uh, next page and update our value in cart okay so for that go to your resources view front your products okay here you have a anchor tag sorry mm. uh, yes i think this one here you will put here url and cart add let me check uh anchor tag is okay yes it's working here you will put id also which id id coming from your loop here e id reload if i see your url is cart slash add and five so this type of route you need here you can make anywhere here i will create cart functions so route get cart first of all we will define cart controller cart controller index okay you need go to your cart controller and here is create a index function public function index and simply return your cart content because it's index function that's why we need this if i click on cart simply it will return okay uh, here is you need to use that library actually you can see uh, let me try if cart is work 
okay card is working here is your card content okay after this you will create here public function sorry, function add item and it contains some id of product and return dust id that's it in your web dot php here you will put new route for add item but your url will be slash add and here id okay simply cart controller your uh, function name add item that's it now if i go to products and click on any button of cart it will give me product id now next thing we need information your information about products so for that uh, let me say return product information here you will put app products and here just return products if you put here all function it will return all function okay but we need only this id so you will put here find and id reload here is your id now go to again your products click on any randomly here is your new product we need to add this product in our cart our cart is uh, still dummy content we need actual products okay so this scenario we will cover in the next video for this video that's it if you have any suggestion any issue please comment below if you like this video hit the like button thank you